OK, so this tutorial is next one in the series. Uh, to kind of help complete this. What's a game if you haven't got enemies to attack? So here I'm going to show you how to set up an enemy agent, uh, create the agent, set up a nav mesh and then make them move towards a goal, i.e. you, your character. Um, there are lots of improvements you can make to this and there's some extra tasks at the end because it's fairly simple to do. Maybe you can find a way that your enemy agent will not be able to see you until you get within a certain range of him. Uh, maybe I'll release another tutorial about that in a bit. So uh, to get started, what do we need to do? First, we need to choose our character agent. Um, so let's go to the project. And I'm going to drag. I'm going to go to simple people. Uh, I'm going to be a bit um, non PC. And take a white homeless person. And uh, uh, when you drag it in here, it places it at zero, zero, which isn't very useful. I'd like to place it actually right next to him. So <laughs> I think you could just place it in the world like that. Yeah, that's the easiest way. Um, also, I'm a bit, I don't want our character to be floating in midair to start off with this bit annoying. So let's put his Y position at zero. So we've got this um, hobo, homeless person, and we've got you. And I really hate how they've changed the viewing settings here. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so if it was locked, that was why it wasn't working. So if I right click now and move around, left click and look around. But yeah, if I hold option, yeah, now I can look around the character. Okay, perfect. So um, we've got our enemy character, uh, but we, are we going to make him into an agent? And it's going to use the A star algorithm, which is um, a simple algorithm for pathfinding, basically. So it's kind of very simple AI, but basically whatever goal you give it, it will find the path to it and avoid obstacles. Um, and the only way, the way the agent find it is we're going to set this whole terrain area to be a nav mesh, which you can navigate over. So let's install from, through the package manager. I have to go to window package manager. Let's install the AI navigation tool. Now, um, at the, the default setting is to have to look at all the things that are inside of your project or your assets like that. Uh, maybe you want to you want to filter package manager by uh, unity registry and then we want to search for ai so i search for that then i have this ai navigation thing here now i've already installed it so you need to just download and then install it and then once that's installed uh, we can go about giving our character an enemy agent uh nav mesh um but so we're going to click on our character I'm going to add a component. I'm going to add a script. Um, I'm going to call that um, enemy agent script. And also, so this is basically going to control our agent. Um, also, I'm going to add a, a nav mesh agent. This. So this is really important. That's what gives you your enemy agent a kind of like, like a brain. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the script and we're going to edit it and we're going to add a couple of properties and we're going to add an animator which we're going to connect to uh, his default uh, animator which you get with every um, every simple person and we're going to add a, a transform that's going to be his goal which is probably going to be you and a nav mesh agent uh, object um, so that we can uh, we can set him set his destination and, and things. So without further ado, let's open that up and edit that script. Uh, we're going to need to do some importing. So we're going to be using Unity Engine uh, dot AI. So we're going to import that library, um, and then we're going to add those public properties. So we've got public animator animator. public transform 
goal. So he, it's, it's going to be a game object or transform the position it's going to seek. And then we've got this uh, uh, nav mesh agent object called agent. Um, and then in our um, in our start function, we're going to assign the because you can like there are two ways you can assign scripts to people. So I'll just put that here. Um, you, you can either create a public object and then drag that into the script. Or you can actually just do it in code. So this is the alternative way. And sometimes when um, it's just easier to do it in code. So we're going to create a nav mesh agent in our start function. This is the thing that gets called at the beginning when the script runs and it sets things up and we're going to call that agent. And then we're going to use a function called get component. And what component are we going to get? Well, we're going to get the nav mesh agent. And we, we can get that nav mesh agent because we've added a nav mesh agent object onto it. Um, and then we're going to be able to use this. Um, uh, we're going to use this agent. So actually, we don't need to give it a type because we've already declared it as a, a as a global variable here. And we're going to we're just updating its value here. We're going to get that nav mesh agent and then we're going to use this in our update function to make the agent do things. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to add agent. Um, and we're going to set its destination destination. What is its destination? Its destination is the goal position. So whatever you set it as its goal, it's going to walk towards its position. And then we're going to set the animator in the same way we did for our own character. And we're going to set its speed underscore F property. And what we're going to set that to? Well, we're going to set it to the velocity magnitude, the magnitude of the velocity of that agent, like that. So I'm going to save that. Now if I go back to here, the script will reload, or Unity will reload, hopefully. We'll see in the script that we've got a couple of uh, properties that we need to set. Um, one of them is going to be a goal, which is going to be U, and the other one's going to be the uh, animator. And then the last thing that we need to do after that is set the navigatable area. So there we go, script compiled. So we're going to drag the animator of our enemy, which belongs to all simple people characters or anything that you want to animate. To be and then we're going to need to set the goal. So the goal could be anything, but we're going to say the goal is you. So if you run away, it's going to try and follow you. Bit scary, but there you go. And it's not perfect game but you just have to figure out how you can maybe make it a bit more playable the, you know the standard way is that you'd have like an area around the agent that it, it would detect you in um, or you could even have ray casting where only when the agent's looking towards you and you're in its line of sight will it know you're there and then start shooting you or trying to get you so there's lots of tweaks you can do that and you can find and i'll probably do a tutorial on that later but um yeah, so the last thing we need to do is we need to set a set, set the area that we want to navigate around. Uh, that's going to be the terrain. I'm going to add the nav mesh surface component to that. And then I'm going to just click on bake. And the computer will think about that for a while. Um, because it's quite a big area, it takes a bit of time. But basically, it will just look at sort of all the areas that it, think it, it thinks it's able to walk over and then color that in blue. And then that is going to be like this. If you zoom all the way out, this whole terrain is basically navigatable, apart from these very steep hills. So you would be safe from your agent if you get up there, can't get to you up there. And also there's like, you know, sometimes there's some glitches, like, like for some reason it's found a hole in the ground there that it doesn't want to fill in um, for some reason. Uh, it'd be interesting to know why really. But um, yeah, and uh, that is how you set the nav mesh agent. It's using this A star algorithm. Um, I'll, I'll do a video on that as well at some point about how A star works. But it's basically a pathfinding algorithm to get from one node to the next. Uh, so if I run this now, um, you'll basically see your agent running towards you. And uh, not much of a game, but you need to run away from it.
Okay, there he is. So he's animated. I need to, I'm only walking right now, so I'm going to run. If I turn around, there he is, still running towards me. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could shoot him dead? Well, that is going to be the subject of the next tutorial, how to add a collider to him and make him die when you shoot him. So I'll see you in that next video.